Hey everyone, S Dub Nation here, and welcome back to a brand new Ninjago video here in the channel, and also the first of many, 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 many Ninjago videos coming in the near future, leading up to part two of the Crystallized uh, series finale. So today, you read the title. This is what this video is going to be about. Three things wrong with the Ninjago community. Now, keep in mind, I've been following Ninjago since 2011. I was there when the pilots dropped. I'm still here for Crystallized Part 2. And I made this channel based on my love of Ninjago. From me watching Tanner Fishy's videos, I love Ninjago. I haven't been inside of the Ninjago community for much long. In fact, I think this entire year, 2022... I have been very active in the Ninjago community, but it's not to the point where, like, people know me. It's not a point where I'm big on Twitter or anything like that, and you guys can check out my Twitter. That link is in the description. It's going to pop up on your screen right now. But I, me personally, I just don't, you know, be that involved inside of Ninjago Twitter. I do look at Ninjago Twitter a lot, and it's a lot of things wrong with the Ninjago community. So this is what this video is about. With that being said, guys, please know that everything that I will say in this video is just my very own opinion. And let's get started talking about number three these are my top three things wrong with the ninjago community starting off with they're just weird i love ninjago to the point that i can confidently call it my favorite tv show of all time i love watching ninjago and i love building the sets but some people take it a step too far i.e cosplaying or fan fiction or believing that every single thing ninjago related is amazing it's great this is peak everything's peak 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 i just it's not peak sometimes not everything inside of ninjago is great so moving on to my next point has got to go to overhype and high hopes now crystallize is going to be the series finale of ninjago of this series of ninjago so obviously i can't wait to see my favorite show of all time crescendo into this big epic finale to where it can have an emotional payoff and i'm ready for that but honestly, and I'm saying this right now because I will turn this into a topic for another video. I don't think Crystallize will be the greatest conclusion. I don't think Crystallize will be a good conclusion. There's no way to make this a good conclusion. So I think that a lot of people are overhyping a lot of things inside of Ninjago. Me personally, I don't think everything in Ninjago is great. I hate the island and I think Day of the Departed is just okay. I don't hate it as much as other people do, but I hate Ninjago season 14, the island. I reviewed that season last year and I hated everything about it. And that was the one Ninjago product that I actually hated. I feel as though the Ninjago community overhypes everything to the point where everything is peak. Every shot goes hard. And that's what I've been seeing a lot of, honestly. I've been seeing a lot of different shots from the trailers or different images that have come out. Like, say, for instance, this image with Lloyd in the cell with a tear coming down his face. That's a good, like, it's a good shot. It looks good. But I'm not saying I can't prepare for this emotional punch that's going to hit me so hard when part two comes out. Like, why is Lloyd crying? Like, what's going to happen to him? I get it. You are a fan. I am a fan, too. But do not overhype this. Please do not overhype this to the point where, you know, you're going to have like a mental breakdown about Lloyd. Like they're not going to kill him off. But also, I don't think that the shot goes hard. People say that, oh, this shot goes hard. Like say, for instance, this shot of Wu from this promo image. The Dragon Blade is cool, connecting it back to season nine with his father. That's interesting. That's great because you're bringing that back for the series conclusion. But I don't think that this shot goes hard because honestly, I don't think that the picture looks that good. I don't think the promo looks that good. Overall, I just feel as though the Ninjago community overhypes everything about Ninjago, and especially with these Wild Brain seasons. I love Seabound. That's my favorite Wild Brain season. But other than that, I can't see any other Wild Brain season being as good as Seabound. Master of the Mountain has been getting some hate now, and I don't think that it's deserved. But I definitely don't think that it kind of deserved all the praise. This was the greatest season for Ninjago. It was top 10 seasons for Ninjago when it really wasn't. And maybe I have it in top 10 in some of my rankings. I don't know. I don't remember. But if I'm looking back on it, it wasn't really that great of a season, in my opinion. It wasn't that awesome as a season. I wouldn't say it wasn't that great. I, was, I would say it wasn't that awesome as a series. Overall, the Ninjago community overhypes everything. But moving on to my first point. And uh, a lot of people and, you know, other points I had to kind of 
kind of research a little bit more. I had to kind of find some different points to make. And this point just came off the top of my head from the moment I got this idea to make this video. Number one is shippers. That's the one thing I hate about the Ninjago community. I can ignore the overhypeness. I can ignore the fan fictions, the weirdness of the fans. I can ignore all of that if it means we don't have shippers. Look, if you love shipping these characters, that's great because that's you. I hate seeing ships. I hate seeing them. I hate seeing them on my Twitter. I hate seeing them in Ninjago videos. I, I just don't like seeing them. Honestly, this is coming from the guy whose most popular video is a Ninjago couples ranked video. I literally ranked the ships of the series and that's the video that I got the most praise for. But honestly, I don't like the ships at all. There's a certain level of it, to be honest with you. I don't like the Kai and the Lloyd ship. I don't like the Kai and Cole ship. The J and Cole ship. And a lot of people may call me homophobic for it because it's like, are you doxing the gay ships? No, I'm not doing I'm like I'm not doxing it at all. I'm just saying me personally, I don't like it. Me personally, I don't find that ship to be as great. J and Cole, I can give it a little bit of a leeway because J and Cole are friends. They're best friends. Cole and Kai in these later seasons, they weren't really that close. But with Lloyd and Kai, that is the grossest ship ever. It's so gross. It's so disgusting to see a half-naked Lloyd sitting on the lap of a half-naked Kai. Like, seeing that type of drawing, seeing that type of art grace my Ninjago feed is insane and I don't like it at all like it's so weird because Kai is a mentor to Lloyd Kai is Lloyd's like Kai is older than Lloyd biologically Lloyd is not legal it's just weird it's so weird and that goes back to all of my points D the Ninjago fan base the Ninjago community and I'm guilty of it too are just weird and also Cole and Vanya are not a couple they're not Stop shipping them. Stop saying that Cole and Vanya is your favorite couple. I included them in my ranking last year because, you know, I needed another couple. But they're not a couple. They're not even, like, they're, they're friends. They remain strictly platonic. That doesn't mean Cole is gay. That just means that he probably just doesn't want a girlfriend. That just means that he probably doesn't want a relationship. Overall, I think shippers are the worst thing to come to the Ninjago community. I think shippers are the worst thing to come to any fan base community because there it makes no sense why you should be shipping, you know, Lloyd and Kai. Like that's so weird. Green Flame. I hate that ship. That if anything, I can ignore. Like I said, I can ignore everything. I can even ignore Jan Cole, Kai and Cole, Lava, whatever, Cole and Vanya. I can ignore all of that. If that means I will never have to see Green Flame grace my screen ever again. I hate Green Flame. I hate it. Anyway, I think I'm done with my three points on what's wrong with the Ninjago community. I wanted to talk about something negative about the Ninjago community. Because tomorrow, I'm going to contradict everything that I said in this video. I think you can figure out what video is coming out next if, you know, you made it this far. But with that being said, guys, please know that everything that I did say in this video was just my very own opinion. Please don't dox me because, you know, I said that I didn't like the ships because I don't. If I'm being completely honest with you, I don't. But comment down below, what do you guys think of the Ninjago community? Do you love it? Do you hate it? What are your top worst things about the Ninjago community? If you have any, or what's your least favorite thing about the Ninjago community, I should say. With that being said, guys, that Twitter is in the link in the description. That Ninjago playlist is also in the link in the description as well. It's going to pop up on your screen up above. And, uh, and I will see you all next time with a brand new Ninjago video. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.